and welcome to Modeling Misadventures. And today we're going to carry on with the building of the Agora Models Routemaster bus. And today we're going to work on a really cool part of this bus. It's a platform at the rear end where the passengers used to climb on and off. And this was a real iconic part of the design. Can't wait to get stuck into this. So this represents stages three and four of this model. And again, the instructions are very detailed and they're all available online. These are the parts that we're going to be working with today. And again, they're really lovely quality. Now I've got to make a decision at this stage of the build, and it's a bit of a dilemma. I haven't really made my mind up, but I've got to decide whether to build the model as is and just screw it all together or whether to do any weathering. And this is a very good example here. This is meant to be a wooden platform. And you can see it does look a bit plasticky, even though it's been painted very nicely. And it's very unlikely that any real Routemaster bus would have a platform that looked like that. So I think I'm going to have a go at a bit of weathering um, just to add some realism to the bus. There's a number of people online making this bus and a few of them are modifying it. I think I'm going to go for the um, modification and weathering just to add that little bit of extra realism right we'll get this together and then i'll show you what it looks like at the end well i've got these parts finished that's the bottom half of the staircase and the rear platform no problems at all in putting that together very easy uh takes about 45 to 50 minutes to screw all that together but uh, I do think it looks a bit plasticky and it's going to need a bit of weathering to make it more realistic. Now I found a couple of uh, pictures on the internet showing what this platform looked like in real. You can see these here. So they just need to be made to look a little bit lighter, a little bit more dusty and a little bit dirty. So I'm going to have a go at weathering that and we'll see how that turns out. Now to do this weathering, I'm going to use some oil paints. I've got some European Earth Mud pigment. I'm going to dissolve it in this Zippo lighter fluid. Just make up some light washes and then we'll paint it on and see how it looks. Just going to start with a little bit of what's called yellow ochre and a little bit of burnt Sienna. Just mixing that up to very weak. Now I just see what it looks like if I put a bit on. Put a bit on under here at the back so you can't really see it. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. It's definitely made it a bit lighter. It might be a little bit thick. I'm going to put a bit more thinner in it and use a bigger brush to spread it on. All right, let's do this bit. Yeah, that's again a bit better. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to put some of that on the actual stairs as well. Just a little bit. Right, next I'm just going to try using a bit of this European dust or mud. Again, I'm going to dissolve it in some Zippo lighter fluid. Now that's a bit dark for what I want. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to try this splash mud instead. So again, I'm just going to do a test around the back and just see what it looks like if I put a bit of this in the, in the grooves. Just putting little tiny streaks in here. I'm just going to put a bit of 
dark splashes on around the place just to look like a bit of dirt using this darker stuff. Just do a bit of dry brushing now on these edges. Okay, so I've weathered this and I'm quite happy with how that looks. I think that looks quite similar to the photo that we had earlier. The wood looks a little bit lighter. You can see the dirt in between, a um, few scuff marks around the place. So yeah, pretty happy with that. So that brings us to the end, end of stages three and four. Uh, next time we're gonna be going on to building the front axle but for now, that's it for me, and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.